Look at Nettle chopping that grass. We grew some cat grass for her to munch and she loves it. We also got a backpack so she can come outside with us on walks. She enjoyed it at first, but we sat outside a little too long on our first attempt and she got nervous. I've made some additions to my virtual reality room. I got a bunch of lime green mats from We Sell Mats on Amazon and connected them together. I think it looks pretty good. They're a lot more comfortable than the hardwood floor, which is key for those long PR sessions where I dance a bunch, or in games like Onward that require me to crawl on the floor. I don't have to bother wearing knee and elbow pads anymore. I also installed a shelf above my desk to hold my headsets, since before they were either on my desk, taking up valuable space, or on the floor getting dusty. The reason they are so high up is because I use a standing desk and had to make sure my PC tower wouldn't hit them when I raise it up. Heather and I have been playing Gears of War 4 in anticipation of Gears 5's release on the 5th. We are both Game Pass Ultimate subscribers, so we get to play the game a few days early. We like it a lot. I've also been playing the Versus mode, and I forgot how much I enjoy Gears of War multiplayer. Thirteen years ago, I was playing on Grid in the first Gears of War, and now I'm doing it in 2019 at 60 FPS. They also have a variation of one of my favorite game modes from Call of Duty Black Ops, where each team starts off with the same weapon, and every three kills switches you to a different weapon. The first team to get all the kills with all the weapons wins. This is also the ideal mode to show off your unlocked skins, since you usually only use a couple of different weapons in the standard versus match, as opposed to the several you get to use in this mode. 